What did you see? It was just a quick vision. At uh, first, I wasn't seeing anything. And right before you said it, I saw a cloud and it had golden and it had keys. And God was like telling me to reach up and I felt weird, like, I'm gonna look weird. There were angels all around me building a shield. There's like a shield of light. It was just an ongoing battle. And as I started screaming, there was an alligator coming out of my mouth and I heard the Lord say it. The call of a minister is not to bring people to themselves, is to be the doorway of an encounter with God. So we become portals, we become doors of an encounter with God. Can you, sister, can you come and share your vision? What did you see? It was just a quick vision. At first, I wasn't seeing anything. And right before you said it, I saw a cloud and it had golden and it had keys. And God was like telling me to reach up and I felt weird, like, I'm gonna look weird. But I saw like a cloud and it had golden keys in there. And God was just telling me to pull it down. And right before you said it about the angels, you saw gold. And I was thinking I was just seeing stuff. I when I said I was, the gold, it was right around that right time. Right before you said it, I saw it. A, 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 it was like a small cloud, but it was a cloud and it had gold and like keys in it. And I was like, am I tripping? And as soon as I thought that you said it and God gave me confirmation oh, that I was seeing that vision. Come on, say hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Who else went into a vision by a show of hands? Just keep your hand up. It's okay. My sister, I want to hear your vision. Come. Now let me tell, let me just say something to you. All ministry is for is to facilitate an encounter. The call of a minister is not to bring people to themselves, is to be the doorway of an encounter with God. So we become portals, we become doors of an encounter with God. We become doors to the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said, Nathaniel, you're surprised because I saw you under a fig tree. He said, Nathaniel, you're going to see even greater things than these. You will see angels ascending and descending on the son of man. And then Jesus said, I am the door. <laughs> Jesus said, I am the light of the world. But then he said what? You are the light of the world. Jesus said, I am the door. Well, guess what? You are the door. Amen. Because where did Jesus choose to reside in? This is the mystery. Christ in us the hope of glory when you carry Christ and Christ lives in you you become a walking door of encounters and just as angels ascended and descended on the son of man on Jesus Jesus is now in you which means you have angels ascending and descending upon you did you know that did you know that? Did you know that angels, if you're a born again, spirit filled believer, angels are ascending and descending every time, everywhere you walk. Some of them, they stay descended because you don't pray. So they got nothing to go up for. When you pray, you know things happen. As a matter of fact, did you know that when you set your heart to pray, the angels are already moving? Daniel, the moment you set your heart to pray, I was on my way. Daniel was fasting for 21 days for a revelation from God. Say revelation. Some of you are only fasting because you want a material thing. Let me teach you something. If you want to go deep in God, fast for revelation. Not just for material blessings. Fast. For a revelation of God. Fast 
for God to reveal himself to you. Amen. And it was during the 21 days, the angel came at the end of the fast and he said, when you set your heart to pray, I was coming, but the prince of Persia resisted me, say the prince. prince. Is he talking about a natural prince? What is he talking about? A principality, right? So he said, I had to call Michael for backup. So he, when he was fasting, the moment he set his heart, his heart, the angel was coming. But the angel was resisted, so he had to keep persevering. Say perseverance. When he persevered, Michael, the archangel, came and fought against the prince of Persia, the principality of Persia. And how many of you know Michael whooped his butt? Hallelujah. So let me help you. When you pray, angels are very much involved in responding to your prayers. But the problem is, sometimes we set our heart to pray, but we don't follow through to pray. So the angel is mobilized when your heart was set, but then he was hindered when you stopped. He was coming when you set your heart, but you never showed up to the prayer closet. He was coming with the gift in his hand, but you didn't endure the days of prayer that he called you to. I wonder how many gifts, blessings, revelations, because here's the reality with revelation. Greater than a breakthrough is a revelation. Did you know that? Because a breakthrough will provide breakthrough for the moment. But revelation will be the key to live in perpetual breakthrough. Knowing the truth sets you free. And he who is free by the truth is what? Free indeed. So knowing something is greater than getting something. Not just knowing with your head, but knowing by revelation, by revealing, which is an experience and an encounter with that revelation. So when the angel showed up, the angel revealed himself, but then he also revealed the interpretation of the vision and he went into another vision. And then it was so great that he said, seal it up. I ain't telling nobody yet. How many of you know God, God got some secrets to reveal to you that ain't for nobody to know? Hallelujah. My sister, I want to hear your vision. What did you see? What's your name? Rochelle. Rochelle? Awesome. Okay, so I saw um, there was a man dragging me to that door. There was a chain connected to my ankle and I was being dragged. And then I saw this angel came and chopped the chain. And there were angels all around me building a shield. There was like a shield of light. And it was just an ongoing battle. And as I started screaming, there was an alligator coming out of my mouth. And I heard the Lord saying, Leviathan is coming out. And then you got delivered right there. Hallelujah. Come on, girl. <laughs> See, it's real. That I that I pray for you. That I go and lay hands on you. What what came and fought for her? The angel of the Lord. And you received deliverance just by the Lord sending the angel. No man had to lay hands on you. No man had to pray for you. Isn't that powerful? <laughs> 